Good morning. It's a Saturday and it's about 8.30 in the morning. I am headed to the local CrossFit here in my hometown. And um, my hometown is a very, very small hometown. It's a very small place. But I grew up here, I was born and raised here. And uh, luckily my um, cousin decided to open up a CrossFit here in what I like to call the woods and uh, the woods of Texas and uh, so yeah I'm headed there this morning it's uh, the cool thing about CrossFit is usually most CrossFits have a free community workout on Saturday so this is a great time to get around uh, people that come in that probably have never heard of CrossFit or they just heard about it they've never done it before um, and it's a good um, hybrid and like introduction uh, class to CrossFit and uh, it, it just helps introduce them to, to the world of CrossFit and the community of CrossFit. It's really cool because there's a lot of people that, members who, um, who come regularly that have been doing CrossFit for a while still come and help surround people who, uh, who've never done it before. So it's really awesome. It's an awesome place to, um, to, to surround people and help them, um, you know, make the decision to get physically uh, fit and better and so yeah it's a uh, it's really cool I'm excited uh, it's been a while since I've been here and, and done a workout with these guys uh, <clears throat> with the wedding and everything it just took a while um, for us to get down here and so we're now here for Thanksgiving we're not gonna stay till Thanksgiving but we're spending time with my parents my family and then we will um, drive back to Austin and spend the real Thanksgiving with her parents and <clears throat> so yeah super excited it was a long drive it was six hours which is ridiculous because we had we hit traffic in Houston and traffic in Houston is horrible and people in Houston don't know how to drive it's weird it's strange but yeah it's it was a pretty good trip um, as you saw in the last video, Melissa was not, Melissa was not happy. So I was just thinking about this whole CrossFit thing, getting up on Saturday and, and, and going to, to just torture myself and, you know, push my body, my body to its limits. <clears throat> And um, this is a great this is a great time, and this get a little get a little motivational here. But this is a great time to to think about on a Saturday morning, not necessarily super early, but pretty early for most people. Or you know, for me, two years ago, eight thirty in the morning was early. It's a it's a no excuse Saturday. So I'm gonna start calling it because Saturday you typically be like, okay, I've worked all week. Um, the last thing I want to do is go and work out <clears throat> and um, you know I had a goal I have a goal set I, I had a goal and I still have a goal and the goal continues to keep growing and changing and the only way for me to reach that goal is to go and work out to go and get healthy to go and push my body to the limits and um, become physically fit so I should not have any excuses to to not get up and and, and go work out. And the great thing is, I'm going to go work out with <clears throat> with other people that are that could have had the same goal as me, could be doing the exact same, um, be on the the exact same path as me. And so, <clears throat> you know, it's it's one of those things where I'm laying there in bed and I have to say to myself. Are you going to be better today than you were yesterday? If not, go back to sleep. And that forces me to make that decision of, you know what? Yes, today I'm going to be better than I was yesterday. And I get up. And I, I put on my clothes. And I get ready. And I stretch. And, and, and those things, because those things are going to, are going to set me up for success today. And... It's going to mentally get me in that space of, you know what, yeah, I'm going to go do this. I'm going to go work out. It's going to be hard. It's going to be rough. It's going to suck. But I'm going to be better for it. And 
it's going to get me closer. It's going to get me one step closer to my goal. <clears throat> and just think that small decision to just get out of bed. It's a very small decision. It's not a, it's not a, a big one. It's, you're not buying a house or buying a car or <clears throat> buying a life insurance policy or whatever. You're just getting out of bed. And it's going to make you better. It's going to make you a better person. And so you have to start thinking about that um, that mentality of what am I doing right now that's going to make me better in five years? And if me getting out of bed and going to go do CrossFit on a Saturday when I could be sleeping in without a care in the world, <clears throat> it's going to make me better. Getting out of bed, making that decision. It's going to make me better. And so just be encouraged, guys. Get out there. Work out. Get healthy. Um, <clears throat> if you have any questions in the comments, f feel free to, to message um, in the comments and ask me some questions about CrossFit or ask me some questions about getting healthy or whatever. But be encouraged. Get out there. Make your life better. Get healthy. Um, I'll put in the description the links to CrossFit.com. Um, you guys can check uh, check out CrossFit. It's an amazing um, organization, and uh, they they have a real great community. So uh, be part of the community. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I will check in later today. But yeah, see ya. Your wad. Woohoo! All right, it's my turn. So we're doing a partner wad where we're knocking out. 1500 meters and uh, 50 power cleans. We're about knocking out the rowing every 250 meters. Switching off. I just got done. My partner's doing the rest and I'm going to finish it. Woo! And Trey took his shirt off. <laughs> That's my partner right there, knocking it out. Everybody's rocking it. Good job, buddy. Don't bend those elbows too early. Use those hips. Take that energy. All right. So we're having to knock out 50 power cleans, splitting those up between the two of us. Um, because I've been out so long, we're only doing a 95 pounds and uh, still working out some back kinks but for the most part we're knocking it out getting stronger <gasps> get out Trey come on Joby All right, so we finished the workout, 21 minutes um, for the two of us. It was just two rounds, but uh, we got it done. The other guys are finishing off, but I really want to take this time to encourage you guys to uh, get around a community of people that uh, want to make you better. Uh, like I said in the other videos, around people that uh, add value to your life and uh, people that encourage you to, to be better uh, at who you are before you're better at what you do. So get out there, get healthy. Um, and sweat. Oh, so I, uh, I can't stop thinking about the, you know the. You're gonna get a lot of motivation in this video, uh, and and it's because I've co I've come from such a dark place when it comes to making excuses for my life and and the reasons why I weren't where I wanted to be and all these things, but. You know, earlier this morning when we went to CrossFit, I was talking about how it's no excuse Saturday. And uh, when it comes down to it, getting healthier, getting out there and exercising, or even achieving any kind of goal, goal in life, um, 
It's, it's all about your mindset. And at the end of the day, all that matters is, do you want it bad enough? Do you want what you want bad enough to get out there and make it happen? And with CrossFit, um, it's such a mental game. Uh, you have to be able to push past the pain, uh, your muscles fatiguing, um, and, and really just push past the, 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 the exercise. You really have to push it uh, mentally. You have to have that mindset. And I honestly think that it's the same amount of energy to make that decision to get up and, and, and get out of bed and go do it and make no excuses um, when it comes to making that decision. And so, you know, it's important to, to get your mind uh, set and in that, in that, that frame of, of mind of, of just being determined and you know what, no matter what it takes, I'm going to get out there and I'm going to do it. And now's that time to make that decision. So I just encourage you guys, and I will encourage you guys until the ends of the earth, but it, it takes you to get out there. No one's going to do it for you. No one's going to hand it to you. You have to get out. You have to make it happen and just do it. And I tell you what, at the end of the day, you're going to be better. You're going to feel better. Yeah, you're going to have to stretch it out. And yeah, your muscles are going to be sore. But I'm telling you, with the, the proper nutrition, the proper uh, uh, stretching routine, and making sure that you're hydrated, you're going to push through that. And your muscles are going to grow. You're going to feel stronger. You're going to get faster. You're going to get better. Uh, and you just keep going back. And you're going to addict it to it. And your body's going to, going to thank you later and you're going to feel better and so just uh no excuses guys get out there and and be better and uh enjoy enjoy life it's very it's very important that you enjoy life and you have fun so uh like i said earlier in the comment section if you have any questions um about food nutrition anything like that uh i've been on a certain diet for about a year and a half now and my body feels amazing and i've gained about 20 pounds of muscle and uh, dropped about 60 pounds of pure fat and uh, I tell you what I feel great so feel free to ask any questions comment share like subscribe I'm gonna keep making these videos I'm getting pretty addicted to it and feeling a little bit better um, feel a little bit more comfortable in front of the camera and just randomly talking into a camera it's weird but uh, yeah all right guys I'm gonna go uh, do some uh, some more stuff today with my parents, family. Uh, maybe you can go see a movie tonight. So, hey buddy, what is it? Go get them. Go get the squirrels. Oh, wait. There's no trees in the yard because my dad cut them all down. So, all the squirrels are gone. I was sad when he made the decision to cut the trees down. We had two acres of beautiful pine trees, just like the, the neighbors over here. Um, and Waylon loved chasing the squirrels. But they're all gone. So,. It's sad. It was awesome. But I grew up with pine trees. Really, really tall pine trees. Where are they, Waylon? Where'd they go? Where's the squirrels? Come here. Good boy. Good boy. That's a good dog. Go get him. Seek him. Seek him. I get in trouble to tell him to seek him. Cause then he looks for the FedEx man and the po the UPS man. <laughs> he hates those guys. So we're gonna head to. Um... Baby, what are you doing? I'm fixing bed. <laughs> you better not be. Busy. What you doing down there, baby? <laughs> What's she doing, Waylon? What's going on? <laughs> he saw me and he immediately started shivering. Oh, he's such a baby. Made me feel guilty. He's such a baby. <laughs> 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 so uh we're in we're in the country and uh we're gonna head to um a knife store. It's like the largest case knife store I've ever been to. So if you want to think about case knives, I'll put the the link in the description uh, below. But uh, they're 
USA handmade knives and um, I'm gonna get one for my dad and he's going to pitch a fit he hates having things bought for him but I'm talking to him like hey let's go I wanna go look at a knife I wanna get a knife um, but when we get there I'm gonna tell him but I think I might tell him on the way it's about a 30 minute drive to the store uh, in Podunk, Spurger, Texas. It's country. But anyway, uh, it's going to be funny. We'll see his reaction. Hopefully, I can get it on video. <laughs> <laughs> What's she doing, Wayland? What's she doing? I'm tucking the cover in so it doesn't get trashy. You're so cute, baby. She's <laughs> <laughs> taking care of our dog. But. What she doesn't understand is he's a country dog. No, he's so he, not. Yes, he's he, a, he is a country dog. No, he's not. You let him sleep in the bed and on the couch. He's a city dog. When he I shivers by the window in our apartment when it's when I found Waylon, he was laying in the dirt on a farm. He was six months old. He's a country dog, aren't you, buddy? He's a country dog. He's tough. He can handle thirty degree weather. No, he's not. He's a baby. He is no. a baby. He's a big baby. Huge baby. So yeah, we're about to leave. And uh, I'm going to try to get my dad on video. Uh, his reaction. He's going to be so mad. He's going to he'll probably try to turn around. We'll see. So, Dad, I wanted to tell you that we're going to go out here and get you a knife. You can get me no knife. Yeah, I am. Nope. I'm getting you a knife for your birthday and for Christmas. I don't need one. Yeah, you do. You need a knife. I, up my I, I decided a long time ago that I was going to get you a knife. So oh, that's why we're headed out here. I just got you to drive. <laughs> Don't swerve. It's raining. Don't swerve. So we need, to, we need to find that one knife that I got those other guys. We need to find that knife. Do you like that one? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's what we're going to get you. After yes, I really did see him. Yeah. I well, I waited until we got pretty far out here so you wouldn't turn around. <laughs> Thank you. Well, Merry Christmas and Happy Birthday. Dad's, Dad's birthday is on January, uh, December 24th, so he, uh, I don't know if he lucked out or, or any. No, it's not, that's not a good birthday. It's not really a good birthday, but. I mean, it is because you were born, but. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. You yeah, never bothered me. Really? Never bothered. That actually bothered. does not surprise me. The only thing it bothered me that everybody made a big deal out of it. Well, it is a pretty. I mean, it's a pretty big deal. It, it kind of stinks when it comes to getting gifts, but I ain't worried about the gifts. It's embarrassing. Oh, you're my Huh? I've seen all these cars. Uh, they were all there for your birthday? Well, they're there for Christmas. But oh, and they were. I knew what was going to happen when I walked in the door. Yeah. Dear David, birthday. <laughs> How old will you be? birthday present. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So we're in the knife store and there are a ton of knives. A ton. Oh. Mm -hmm. But it's wooden handle. Though. You don't like wooden handles? Mm -mm. I think it'd be unsanitary. Unsanitary? Mm -hmm. Yeah, even back here, there's a ton of knives. I mean, there's knives everywhere. These are all handmade in America. Knives, 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 knives. I mean, types, types of knives. There's just knives everywhere. The whole store is almost just knives. And they're really, really expensive. Really expensive. I don't know if you can see that. $4.99. But it's crazy, but they're really good knives. So, shaving blades. 
be awesome. Some of these knives I've never even seen before. Um, but yeah, so he's looking, trying to decide on which one he wants. Um, he's having a hard, hard time because there's just so many of them. So many. So many knives. I guess we ain't no hurry neither. No, we? we're not. We're not in a hurry. Check that knife out. Get the sheen. Yeah, we're gonna get a knife. Yep, more knives. More knives. This wood knife. It's pretty cool. You can actually let me zoom back actually close it you can have a knife in your Stags knife will... is up there oh yeah yeah you can get a knife for your knife get a knife for your knife yeah about uh getting my mother a christmas gift and my mother is like the hardest person to to buy a gift for and my dad just suggested that we get her a wind chimes because that's going to go over well. And Melissa is looking at cast iron stoves. And we are debating on what a Dutch oven is. I'm right. I don't know what a Dutch oven is. Okay. Well, then you I go see tell what that, says. I that see. they have false advertisement. And you can go tell Lake Crusette that they have false advertisement because we have a Dutch oven. It, I'm right. <laughs> What? A machete. What is that? To handle machete. <laughs> and some amazing zombie tools back here. Let me show you. This one is my favorite. Look at that. I mean, you just like... <laughs> right, like right in their heads. And Melissa thinks that... An axe would be better. An axe. I'm not sure. I think that that tool is better. What do you think, babe? What? My tool is better? No. <laughs> My tool is better. My tool is. The handles on it are better coverage. No. I'm just saying, you're not going to want to be that close. Everything that a person would need. Everything that a person would need? Right here. Right here? Every, every everything that you would need is in the store. Oh, they even have paint. We're working on our um, gardening attire because it's <laughs> gardening time apparently. <laughs> I like this one. You think that one's cute? It's gonna mess my hair up. Got his knife. You want to show us your knife? Yes. Handmade in America. America made. W.R. Case and Son Cuttery Company. Bone handling. That's what the man said. Look at that. Look at that. Let me see. There you go. It's, it's sharp, too. Yeah. Sure is a nice knife. Mini copper block. Any copper lot. Made in America. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you don't want it too big, so maybe I'll stick you with it. <laughs> when you get something a little bit smaller. 